Hi everybody and welcome to the Toronto Real Estate Show with Janelle and Leslie. I'm Janelle Cameron. Hi there, I'm Leslie Pearson. And today we are going to talk about the fact that interest rates have dropped again, so now what? Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you had a great week and we had a good news a little bit today. Um, interest rates have dropped and so we just thought we'd talk a little bit about what's going to happen now. Not that we know, but... Right, our thoughts about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is um, the second announcement in a row with a drop. Mm -hmm. um, after the first one, when was that? What, where are we now? Last month. July, so it was in June. Yeah. There, it really had no impact from my perspective. No, in fact, I thought it had a negative impact because all of these places came on the market that um, I think people were just waiting, and I was surprised by that. That it didn't have an impact? Well, that, that so many people were waiting for the drop. Yeah. It wasn't just us. It was every, every other agent waiting for the drop in for order the first to list. Drop. For the first drop. In yeah. order to list. So we ended up with a flood of inventory. Right. So um, that's why it uh, didn't wasn't good news for real estate. Yeah. Um, because people held off, then they listed. They all so listed in the over, same two days. There was an abundance of supply. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. Um, but I feel like that might not happen this time, just I don't because know. Um, you know there's been less inventory coming on the market. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the people I talk to say that it's going to take more, greater decreases, and more of them uh -huh. for them to act. Well, the study said, I guess that I don't know who it was that did it. I think it was Royal Page. Sorry for. Not talking about our own brokerage, but uh, I think they determined that when they did surveys around the country, people said one percent was what it, a one percent decrease was what it would take yeah. in order for them to make the move. Right. So that that gels with what buyers have been telling me. Yeah. So we haven't how 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 much? So we've had a uh, half yeah. percent. So, so now one or two more. From what I understand, there will not be a decrease likely in September. Where do you hear that? Uh, I think everyone's talking about that, like just online, but probably October mm -hmm. and then um, maybe November. But um, I don't know. There's just so many conflicting reports out there right now and economists, everyone's got their own opinion. Mm -hmm. um, so if that's what people are saying, what do you think the impact on real estate will be? If, it's, if we don't have anything in September, but we do in October and maybe November, does that mean people are going to hold off till next year? I don't know. I mean, that, that just seems stupid to me, but I guess perhaps that is the case. I, I'm i not really sure, you know, and again, like these different conflicting reports, like I was back to that study I was just telling you about, I they predicted a 10% increase in home prices across the country by the end of this year. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't see that happening. 10% increase between now and the end of the year? Yes. Not a chance. No. Um, and this is coming from... And I thought most economists have revised their forecasts down. Well, uh, yes, maybe, but this this was like... This was the the recent, recent, I don't see any evidence of 10% between now and then. I don't either. I think they were anticipating prices, you know, and they said Toronto would be the best. Um, but I think they thought maybe with a couple of interest rate mm -hmm. reductions that all of a sudden people mm -hmm. will go crazy again. But I, I don't know if that's the case. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, and you know, related, everything that I read points to the um, maybe lack of logic in waiting for a further reduction because of the correlating increase in sale prices that we're seeing. Right. So everything I read says, you know, it's a false economy mm -hmm. because you're waiting for a reduction, but in the meantime, home values are increasing. Yeah. Like you say, so you're not saving, in fact. No, and I, I mean, think is like, that is that the case? Do you think? Yeah, I I agree with that. I, mm -hmm. I just don't know, and I think most people agree with it. But it just seems like all of a sudden this this mood set in amongst mm -hmm. the buyers out there. And I think it set in. Well, there was a hint of it, but since the announcement in June, I think it's so. in particular been huh? yeah, yeah, like, like why? why? I don't get it. I don't get it either. It is interesting. Like all these people dying to buy for years and years and it was like impossible to get a home and people complained and now there's deals out there and they're not buying. I just don't get it. Mm -hmm. Like there's deals, mm -hmm. so many deals. I saw a place like this week, a, a condo that I had my eye on that the last one like it 
sold for 1.2 and it just went for 8.25. Yeah. I just like and and it did sell in multiples by the way because like they dropped it to in multiples for 8.25. Yeah. They dropped it to 8.19 I think and then went for 8.25 but it's like you know there are deals out there if if you can find sellers that are willing to negotiate. Um, but at the same time, like I think, you know, why are people just sitting back waiting? I just don't get it. Yeah. The media. I blame the media. Right. I always blame the media. I've had people object to me, uh, interestingly, to when I said something exactly what you said in that I was saying about how it's a great time to buy because of what we've just been talking about and you can get great deals. Well, they lambasted me right. because saying just because you got 1.025 before, now you can get it for 825, doesn't make it a deal. Well, that's and crazy. 1.025 is irrelevant now. It's not a deal, it is what it is. There's no deal. And well, were really, like, that would seem like a deal when it goes back up. Yeah. I mean, that's a stupid mentality. Like, yeah. it's not going to stay like so this. I, I wonder if there's thinking like that going on. I don't that's, know. That's not a deal. Like, everybody knows that prices mm -hmm. are going to go back up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, they're not going to stay down. Well, they and they have been going up, haven't they? Month over month? They have month over month. So there's signs of a recovery. Yeah. But it's still Despite down the, over year over year. Still. Yeah, but even that is not as bad. Mm -hmm. um, we had more of a, of a decrease 2021 20, to 2022. Mm -hmm. um, and then now, over, you know, year over year, it's pretty flat. I don't yeah. really see, you know, yeah. I don't know. Like the, yeah. It's not that bad. Right. So the announcement came out today. It was a bit of a reduction. So, you know, went in the right way. It wasn't much, though. Um, but it is, you know, the third week or something of July. Mm -hmm. I don't see it having really any impact. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's enough to dislodge this sense of inertia. I don't know. I, I think I agree, I agree with because you. Because in general, any, but people, like it's slow now anyway. Even That's when right. interest yeah. rates were crazy low. Um, so just, I think people are going to go, yeah, so what? I do occasionally get signs of, see signs of life. Like mm -hmm. last week on one of the listings we have, like all of a sudden we got a lot of showings. Yeah. And that was interesting. So and showing, so are people buying? I had an offer. Yeah. And um, my clients did not want to go with that offer, and I rightly so. I think that's fair. Like they can. Right. Wait. So the buyers were accepting it, expecting a deal. They were expecting a deal, and they got. I think you know we were only maybe twenty thousand apart, but they just couldn't come up and they couldn't come down. Um, that's too bad. That is too bad. Because over the scheme of home ownership, that's not good. I think... For either party. Right. I think the buyer, from what I understand, had parents who were involved and very much, this is the maximum, you know, you're going to pay that we're willing to give you mm -hmm. to help you out. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, like, the sellers are not going to sell for less than they bought it for and they, they're willing to wait mm -hmm. or take it off the market which mm -hmm. is you're seeing some of that so i have seen some of that i have i have seen the odd and this is just really like last week things seem to be picking up i have been looking at a few places with people looking at rentals with a, with somebody and uh they're all getting swooped up fast Mm -hmm. We were in multiple offers on a rental. Didn't mm -hmm. get it either. Mm -hmm. um, so that seems to be a busy market, which is interesting. So, mm -hmm. And the rentals are not going down in price, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. That's the other thing I don't get. Like, if you're spending three grand a month or 3200 a month for a two-bedroom townhouse, you know, with only one or two levels at max, like, why would you? Because you don't have the money. Because you don't have the money. Mm -hmm. But some people, I think, just want to rent. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a, you know, I know people like that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, yeah, so I did feel like this kind of moment of optimism last week because mm -hmm. it seemed like all of a sudden everything was mm -hmm. as it does, right? Mm -hmm. But I will say that, you know, after doing this for so many years, and I think you agree with me, I always get a sense of heat up before it starts coming like i have this feeling oh here it comes mm. um and i don't have that feeling yeah i don't have that but feeling. i always get it when the market is about to heat up and in, in a in a way that i can feel 
right? Something you know, in your gut, something in my gut, and I always know it. Mm-hmm. Um, like, look out in the next, you know, two or three weeks, it's gonna go. Mm-hmm. But I don't have that feeling. Well, it's in, it's July. So you, it's July. You probably never had that gut feeling in July. No, no, I don't think so. Right. But I've also never had uh, this kind of a market to deal with either. So yeah. Hard. Yeah. So um, you have several listings and you existing listings and you have new listings coming out. Are you um, telling people to list now? No, not necessarily. I will tell people, uh, I don't know if there's a difference is what I've told people. I don't think holding off to the fall is going to help you. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to be any different. Probably Mm -hmm. no better, no worse, but I don't know. Um, so in the past you would have held off. We would have. But it's different times. Yeah. Um, and I think like for anybody listening right now, as I've told my clients, is like you just have to be patient. Mm-hmm. This is not. This you know I said like I listed a great property today in Burlington, um, and I, but I said to them you know the last time we sold it was busy, mm-hmm. but this time it's not going to be like that. It'll be you may get a showing every few days, you may get one a week. Mm-hmm. And you know it's not going to probably fly off the shelf, and that's okay. We just we have to, you know, temper our expectations a little mm-hmm. bit and understand that mm-hmm. in the market today, it's just patience required. Yeah. So because you don't see things changing or improving in the early at least fall, you see no reason in holding off to it. Not really. I mean, mm-hmm. it's, it, as long as you're okay with it. Mm-hmm. You know, the the uh, there's a little condo that we, we're going to have on the market tomorrow, and I said to them, because, you know, and his opinion was, well, we might as well get it on the market. I want to sell it. Might as well put it up now, and it's better to be listed than not listed. And I thought, that's, that's a good attitude to have. Mm-hmm. He doesn't care if it takes months like he understands where we're at he's okay with it mm-hmm. um i think it's the people who you know are expecting a quick result mm-hmm. don't want to compromise or be flexible on price but they want a quick result like right. those are the right. the people that are having a hard time but but having said that sorry i'm really babbling on today um there have been like i was talking to someone today who said that like two homes in their neighborhood sold over the weekend in after having been on the market a long time Mm -hmm. they both sold over the weekend yeah and um someone that i've been taking around um uh saw a couple of houses that had offer dates of today both today and both have got offers okay yeah i'm not seeing much of offer date I'm not seeing much of it either. So you're I, not doing that? Uh, no, I have. I shouldn't say that. I have seen it, mm-hmm. uh, but they're not always working. They're not working, so yeah. then you see the sellers right. uh, adjusting the price. Yeah. But in this case, there are two that... Are they Toronto? Yeah. East York? Uh, beaches. One in the beaches, yeah. Okay. One at Young and Lawrence area. Okay. Um, but good properties that... Stunning. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe that's the difference. When you know you have something that's going to be highly coveted, yes, then you're maybe. still seeing it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, if I were going to list, I think it, I don't think I would do that kind of strategy now. I don't think I would unless you're right, unless I had yeah. something yeah. quite unique. Yeah. And then I wouldn't shy away from it. Yeah. And like we always tell We people, might see more of that in the fall. I think we'll see more of that in the yeah. fall. Maybe now's not the time to I guarantee that. Durham region will be the first, mm-hmm. right? When September starts yeah. and the Durham market heats up, they will be the ones who start mm-hmm. doing all kinds of offer yeah. dates and great yeah. and you know, great. Now that they've learned how to do it or they have they they're still have, on the learning curve. There I think they've They've, they're on it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they always seem first, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then it kind of comes to Toronto, and then the West mm-hmm. End, generally, I find, is, mm-hmm. is the slowest. Mm-hmm. But So, yeah, I, I guess, uh, you know, in summer, I think, yeah, it was it went in the right direction today. Mm-hmm. You know, that can't hurt, but I don't think it's particularly going to help. Yeah, it definitely can't hurt. Um, and what do you, like when you're talking, so I know you're, you said your buyers for the most part, it doesn't mean anything to them, but you do have some people still looking to buy. 
Yeah, so what did I say didn't matter to them? That they're looking for a one per, like at least a 1% reduction before they make yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So but those people are not looking. Okay. So the people, buyers... They're aware, just, yeah. just so we're clear. Like, they're aware that if that happens, everyone will be looking at Yeah, we have that conversation, but, they don't but care. people can't wrap their head around that number. Right. Um, and, you know, they're biased because of the years of incredibly low rates, and they... they they take in that information, they hear it, but they say, yeah, but I'm not going to anyway. Right. But so I do have, uh, I do hear that a lot, but I do have a couple of buyers that I am, they know that and mm. they get it. And, you know, their life circumstances make it now the time to buy for them. So that's the overwhelming issue. Well, that's great, Leslie, but I got to buy. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. and um, those people get it. And they also, to some extent, don't care. Because Those people make sense to They know me, that the values are going to go up. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I had a couple of those people even, and they disappeared. Like, hey, would you yeah, I don't have very many, but I have a couple of buyers yeah. with me now. Yeah. And the ones, the couple that I um, have two that I'm taking around all the time, um, they're very motivated. They want to act fast. Are they finding enough yeah. inventory for yeah. them? Yeah, nothing great. Okay. Um, so that's the, part of the problem, too. Yeah. Uh, the only great thing we saw was this place in the beaches that was fabulous. I wish, man, yeah, I love that place. Yeah, um, but uh, nothing great. Yeah, and I think you need um, something unique and well maintained mm -hmm. and creative in order to, you know, spawn mm -hmm. the the interest, the traffic. Yeah. Um, I uh, in the car driving around this morning, I heard um, some uh, guy who's an expert in bankruptcies. Mm -hmm. And he thinks these interest rate reductions are completely irrelevant and insignificant. And the number of people who are due to renew their residential mortgages next year that are going to be in serious trouble, trouble yeah. is going to be catastrophic. Right. I don't know. He would say that because he's a job. Right. right. Yeah. And we would say the opposite. And we would say the opposite. I guess no. that's his job. Yeah. I just don't know. I, he was mm -hmm. very worried. Mm -hmm. Um, about people who are going to be renewing. You know, there's just, I think there's a lot of factors, right? Like, it's not just mortgages, it's the price of everything. Yeah. Um, and, and he said that banks aren't wanting to take on any more mortgages. I, I, I don't know that. No. no. Why would they not want to make the money? I don't know. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I haven't heard that sent from no, the No, I have yeah, I think, you know, I have heard that, though, yeah. for two years now. Yeah, true. So I don't know. Yeah. Everyone keeps saying next year all these mortgages are coming due next year, next year. Yeah, so I wonder why it is next year. Is because they got them during COVID? And, like, what, what what's the average mortgage term now? Is it five years? Five, years? I think. Five, so yeah. then they got it in 1990, no, I mean 2019. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. But or 2020 yeah. is 2025. Yeah. Better. Well, that's true. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. You know, I, I just can't see banks allowing a mass, you know, no, falling apart. It does not behoove them to do no. that. No, it doesn't make. That's where they make them. They want this to happen. Yeah, exactly. Say. Right. Yeah. They want. Yeah. And I mean, if the Bank of Canada keeps lowering rates by the time next year happens, then. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so now you'd be looking at you would get maybe a five year fixed. Yeah. For what five percent? Yeah, three five percent. So, and they were probably most of these people were in a three percent maybe. Right. So that's the difference. So are these people yeah, so that highly bad. leveraged? Yeah, that I can't. just don't. It's not like you've gone from three percent to thirteen yeah. percent. I'll tell you something interesting in the, this market. So as we've talked about before, my father recently died and we are getting his house ready to sell. I don't know when we're going to do that. It depends on the completion of probate, but we're getting it ready in case we can do it this fall. But realistically, it might not be till mm -hmm. um, the spring. So I'm temporarily staying in this house. So I'm constantly putting things at the curb. There's like so many recycling, 15 recycling bags today. Yeah. Um, and uh, they saw a bin in the driveway. I'm getting knocks on the door. Mm. Like maybe five a week. Really? Yeah. From so, what? Um, I see that you put out, you had a bin and you're putting out a lot of, a lot of garbage. Are you renovating or are you going to be selling? 
Oh. Yeah. From realtors? No. Oh, from people? Yeah. Why? Because they're interested in it. They want to buy it. I, I've shown it to a couple of people. I had a couple of people came in to see it yesterday. So, so, okay. So, what does well, that tell you? Well, that tells me that there, there's no inventory that they like. Yeah. Well, when they see this, they don't know that they like it. And I don't know that they ended up liking it, but they're knocking right. on the door with sight unseen. Interesting. Just seeing the bin in the driveway. Huh. Mm hmm. It's all weird. It's yeah. all, everything's all upside down. Yeah, because my intuition was that I wouldn't have been devastated if we don't get probate in time for the fall market, if right. we can't do it till the spring. But based on this, I'm thinking maybe we should push it and try. Yeah, maybe, because it is maybe one of those houses that also, who cares if it doesn't sell? You just wait for another three yeah. months and sell it again in the spring. Yeah. It's not really a big deal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. which is, you know, different than yeah. other people, like your circumstances yeah. and such that you could wait. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I just mentioned that and say that kind of bucks some of the trend we're seeing. It does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Interesting. So putting garbage at your curb draws interest. Wow. People are watching. Interesting. Well, yeah. I mean, so there is interest there. Yeah. You know, I didn't uh, have the two people that came in or the others that asked the question. I didn't get any... Can I offer on it now? I didn't right. get any like, but right. it's like you know, just nosiness for now. Yeah, but um, but still, mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we're just going to have to wait and see what happens and play it by ear. Yeah, we you don't know. know. We don't know. We don't really know how to advise people. Yeah. I think that's kind of week by week right now. The only thing I say is, if you have to, if you have to sell, if you have to buy, then you have to do it. Yeah. Um, yeah, buy and, now, I would say. Yeah, sure. and if you can buy, buy now. Yeah. Um, anything, but especially maybe a downtown condo. Right. Um, and if your life circumstances warrant it, you have to make a decision. Uh -huh. um, and I, I also frequently, you know, badger home the point that, um, you know, Toronto home prices are... You know, there might be short-term blips, but it's like the soundest investment you can make. Absolutely. So this yeah. interest rate fluctuation, I don't want to say it's irrelevant, but the price escalation is going to far outpace the interest rate. There's no question. Yeah. yeah. So I, I do make that point. It falls sometimes on deaf ears. Yeah. Or they, people kind of think that I'm pressing my own agenda. Yeah. Um, and so I'm, con I'm aware of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I hear you. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't think history has ever proven us wrong, so yeah. it's hard to argue with it. Yeah. Yeah. So they're going in the short term, like I wouldn't want anyone to buy and want to turn it around quickly. Yeah. Because in the short term, there are dips and dives. Yeah. But in the long term, there haven't been. As there always should be. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we'll wrap it up for that. All right. right. Well, let's, uh, let's see. But by the time we, you know, reconvene maybe we'll know more about what this interest rate yeah. did yeah yeah anyway thanks everyone for tuning in we really appreciate it and don't forget to follow us on our podcast i mean on our podcast on our uh social channels at the janelle camera team but with respect to this podcast make sure you like it make sure you rate us it really helps us out a lot and we appreciate you listening as always and we hope you have a great day and happy real estate happy real estate everyone